Welcome to the Crucial Classics YouTube channel where we watch movies from the golden age of Hollywood together. You bring your copy and we both push play at the same time and let's just enjoy the magic of these films. The advantage of being a subscriber is you'll have the ability to watch these movies for free on the original sites that I find them on, but either way it doesn't matter because you're bringing your own copy. You'll always be able to watch along. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. We start looking at the wall of my living room, which is decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 32 years. So, today's title uh, is coming right after a Beau Jest, and at the end of that movie, I mentioned the next one we would watch, just kind of making reference to just six degrees of separation. I like to do that at times. However, I wanted to do film noir. I wanted to keep it hovering around the 40s. And so that is the reason for today's title, uh, Dead Reckoning with Humphrey Bogart from 1947. I have <clears throat> recently landed on a new free legal site that has these titles uploaded for free leaving that up to you because the purpose of this channel is you are bringing your own copy of the movie to watch along with me. That being the case, let me play the channel info video. Timestamps will be included in case you no longer need this detail. Hi. Given this could be your very first time on my channel, I have a little intro spiel. I'm going to be including these in the beginning of all my videos. I will have a timestamp on it so you can skip past it once you become a subscriber and don't need this info each time. But my goal is to spit this out as quickly as I can, so get ready because I am going to start speed reading this, but just listen because I'm giving you all the info you need to know to successfully view the videos on my channel. So ready, set. Let's go. This is a Classic Movies Watch Along Reaction channel. Every reaction video uploaded here is because at the time of uploading it, I found the subject movie available to watch for free on a 100% legit free streaming site. These sites are going to include, among many others, Tubi TV, Pluto TV, Amazon Prime, Crackle, Plex. You guys are familiar, right? That is the advantage of being subscribed to my channel with your notifications turned on because if you're viewing my videos, my uploads here, close to the time that I put them up, you are likely going to be able to use one of those sites to view the actual movie along with me for free. The point of my channel is to watch two videos at the same time, the one of me reacting and your copy of the film. There are multiple ways to do this two video watch together, and I will always include a 23 second video in the body of each of mine and my uploads, and then I also link that video in the description of each video. So. YouTube's goal is to have you on their platform as long as possible, and I've learned that I'm not allowed to include direct links to these movies that take you off-site. But that is what I want to make sure is crystal clear. Please be respectful of my channel, and please view my content as intended, which if you're doing that, it's going to keep you here on the YouTube platform viewing the videos of me along with your copy of the film that you found. So these films are going to cycle on and off of the locations where I initially find them at the time of upload. That's the reason why it's required for you to have your own copy of the film to watch with me. That's always been the case for my channel. And hey, very easily, though, if you're subscribed with your notifications turned on, you may be able to watch the film on the site where I initially found it. But we all have to use common sense, and that lets us know that you can watch these videos of me along with whatever copy of the movie that you source on your own. And that's going to be regardless of the original free location where I found it at a blip in time. So these videos of mine are timeless, and I've learned the hard way that I can't take the responsibility of providing you with a location to watch the film. That could get me into trouble. But it's simply my pleasure to hopefully real-time make you aware of the fact that these gems from the golden age of Hollywood are legally available for for us to all enjoy. So thank you so much for being here and let's start watching the title you clicked on. So again though the mission and the reason the purpose value of being a subscriber is it lets you know time this video is going up it's because I found it existing free and legal somewhere. So today's title is available on Crackle if you need your own copy. Won't be there indefinitely if you're catching this movie and it's at a point in time that they've taken it off of their platform that's not my responsibility. You need your own copy to watch the movie, okay? So, this title I do own in Voodoo. Um, that is the platform on the cloud-based type of service that I have the most movie purchases on. And honestly, the way that I made that purchase is I kept catching this probably about 10 years ago. I kept catching this movie on my little rabbit ears channel over there. I swear people, that same little rabbit ears channel has been up and running for a decade plus in my life. And so it was that far back. They were cycling uh, Dead Reckoning and I just kept catching it in places, never right at the beginning and able to watch it till the end. And so it, I could tell it was too good of a movie. I finally just had to buy it so that I could do just that, watch it from start to finish. 
um, definitely uh, height of noir, right? Like the just that year, 47, because I really believe that is the same year that Out of the Past happens with Robert Mitchum and Kirk Douglas. That honestly is probably my favorite film noir, just period of the era. But uh, this one is a definite run for that money, and it's a definite strong entry from Humphrey Bogart's catalog, just him being the epitome of a noir leading man, right? So, I mean, this is definitely the type of title that, aside from it being located where it is right now, um, you wouldn't be able to free watch this movie along with me. I wouldn't be able to upload it. You wouldn't be able to upload it. And I just tell you, hey, there's a channel that has this movie available for us all to watch for free. So that's the reason why we definitely want to hop on it. But now that lets me know, just so that I can kind of get myself back into the zhuzh here, um, this platform has two other Humphrey Bogart movies, both of which I've never seen, so I am definitely in the mood to do, like, a Bogart-a-thon. Like, let's just do a little Bogart series. Why the F not? I mean, he is one of the greatest actors. I don't know, there's ratings on, right? Like, some of the best male dramatic actors of all time, and I think he's probably gotta be it, people. I mean... When we really just kind of think about that dramatic, good role, you can just kind of follow along with just about whatever he's doing. I will say he is really a punk in um, the Roaring Twenties. Like, he is just really a, ugh, you're not on his side. But that's the thing, like, he can be in these different scenarios. I'm thinking of that movie with him and Ida Lupino, right? Where he's kind of a criminal, kind of trying to go straight. And you can just definitely, he's got his sight. He's in love with, you know, honesty and integrity purely for this young lady. But she doesn't want to have anything to do with him. She's a little skeeved out by him. But he's really trying to be a good man for her and trying to go straight. But, you know, and it's like, we can, we can feel for Humphrey Bogart, so... Um, what I love about this movie, and I was reading the synopsis on it on my platform, Voodoo, where I have it, and I liked kind of the way that they described it. Height of um, film noir, he's definitely doing his thing, but the distinction that I like about his role in this movie, he's not a Phil Marlowe, okay? He's not a hired private investigator who kind of can just be getting into seedy things anyway. He is just being a really good friend and he's just going all the way for his friend. So, enough said, ways to watch together. Two tabs, you put the movie in one, me in another. Put the movie to take up most of the screen. Put us both in theater mode if that's an option. Just puts nice black space around both of us. If you have no connectivity, you take an HDMI cable into whatever device that is, you plug it into your big screen TV. Or you do picture in picture, it shrinks me down, you put me over a corner of the movie, watch the movie full screen. So. Um, let me get everything launched and ready. I have a cup of coffee to go get that's waiting for me over here to just froth up my cream and my whipped cream and my milk in it. And then uh, we'll do our countdown. And yes, let us enjoy Dead Reckoning. All right. Hot again. I cannot take it without it wrapped up. It being this mane of mine. Okay. <laughs> Playing in three, two, one. Click. I've got a runtime of an hour 40 and 31 seconds. Columbia. No, he was typically with Warner Brothers, huh? So, however, Columbia is where Gilda is made because that's where Rita Hayworth is, and he was in serious talks to be her lead in Gilda. So, why was that if he wasn't there? And that was around this point in time, too, huh, Gilda? Is it actually even in 47? Gowns, do I see it? Gowns are by Jean-Louis. Ooh, yes, for Elizabeth Scott. This is a great... I didn't even mention Elizabeth Scott. This is a great movie with her. We don't get enough of her catalog on here. John Cromwell, we just saw him direct Bo Jazz, And I had never noticed... A title of his before but that name is very familiar right Gulf City the tropical paradise of the south oh well they just left like they were highly offended that he came and stood next to them oh 
that thing with his face. He just looked exceptionally shady, like he would have no business stopping and looking in that little window display. Okay, so he's run into a church. Did he think those cops were looking for him, or he just didn't want any trouble? Oh, no, they look like they're looking for him, huh? That's interesting. A father was in the military because he just called him a father. Look at the noir. Look at the shadow. You can't even see it. I was going to say, it sounds like he doesn't have time. Ah, oh, the shadow work is scary. Look at how they have him in such... This is all about his friend. That shadow work, oh my gosh, people. I thought I'd only ever seen that. In Sorry, Wrong Number. So, just the two of them? Huh. Wow, so this is just how they came back from the war. Yeah, he just put a pin in his mouth, though. I feel like we just heard him acting like this about life and women. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, he stole somebody's mouth? Where do you grab it from? <laughs> oh, he 
just dropped it. Oh, it's like this little clasp. Oh, calmly. Oh, him? He doesn't want it, it seems like. What's his problem? Yeah. So he recommended him for it. He doesn't want her to see him? son <laughs> what's this dude's problem like he's really freaking out it's not humility is he not even coming oh <gasps> he did yeah he's not coming in it like the music is letting us know like he hopped off of this train oh <gasps> well he's gone AWOL now right like he wasn't done with the military. If they're doing all of this to get him to D.C., this is not okay. No. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, he had just seen what it said. Oh, you know he's going to talk. So he got a flirt with a, um, a telephone operator. Oh, she's not still there. Was he trying to arrange that? Why? Why does he? Oh, he refuses. He thinks this dude isn't. Hmm. Oh, uh, the stew. The one that ran away. Got him a hotel room. Mr. Geronimo Caldwell. Yeah. Okay, I you guys know me in food. The first time I watched this was eating a pizza. the sweat but the jasmine you can smell that oh. 
What was I looking at? Oh, Preston. Uh, something's happened. Oh, jeez. Well, he was... His officer. And so he knows that he was into some type of a gem here in Gulf City. So he supposedly shot him? Hmm. So he's a wanted murderer? that girl something happens when when he was on the <laughs> I was eating my pizza and so it just him eating his food that literally was when I was eating a pepperoni and Canadian bacon pizza from this little teeny tiny pizza shop that used to be down the corner that's closed. Now. You can get that. The city morgue. What is it? Um, something to one thousand. <laughs> Bowery. Well, he's not from Frisco. <laughs> he keeps on, like, not giving those full answers. I love it. Showing him.
So they, whoever they are, they killed Johnny. But he's not just leaving. his friend. Oh, see. Hmm. Yeah. This is a good movie. Yeah. Uh oh, he's yeah. He's gonna go jack somebody up, or he wishes somebody would want to start something up. It looks very dark. It's not well lit up. But there's a lot of people there. Like, is this some hidden, illegal, like, Eddie Mars joint in their big sleep? See? A model mio, Gilda. Oh, he was all up in his way, huh? That's the waiter. Well, yeah, do you have it full? Um, because he's been loud enough that... Yeah. He's looking good, uh... Her low voice. Huh? So, okay, problems were happening here at this club with her and her murdered husband a while back, and she still just hangs out here. Why is he tripping about this song? Oh, uh, what? 
that is so creepy. Oh, he hated every part of it. And that big dude totally heard that. Does he, oh, uh, I feel like he'll probably very brutally tell her, like he was charred at. Okay, so, but those two were having a private conversation, and he's asking her about the song, and then that big dude, would you come and sing that song really quick? <laughs> it's like, right in between the two of them. It's like, what in the world are you so closely Is this her singing? Well, love struggles have been the same since the beginning of time, right? I mean... <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want their situation in alignment with what her message is here? <laughs> well, wasn't she using Johnny back in the day? I mean, they showed the picture of her husband. He was an old man. And then Johnny, who was her professor... Uh-oh. Oh, that's not the particular waiter that has this letter for Bogart, but he's finding out, huh? Jean-Louis did the, I love the sleeve effect, because they're not quite gloves, right? Just comes down to her wrists. Is that the end of the song? Okay. That was kind of a weird ending. So she just had a little one hit wonder local hit with that song back in the day. I feel like he's still gonna probably just lay it on her real hard. Oh. You can smell that. Smells good. Well, that seemed genuine, Bogart.
why is he, why is Johnny dead then, right? Well, They showed a picture of Elizabeth Scott, like, in this day and age. She looked amazing still. I don't know if she's still alive. But I feel like it was in the 2000s. Who is this? This is very much like the Eddie Mars, Lauren Bacall dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, he just told her to come in again. So she's gonna lose money. Oh, here comes this other fool. So, oh, I was gonna say, is it like them in a room? Okay, you know, it's a whole other side of this. That's probably why this thing was so dark outside. Um, what in the world? So they are here. But he said, as if it was still another private room they're going to. And she got to bet it all. Is she going to bet so much she's got to go by herself? So she's just going to do one more stack exactly like that and lose that too. And this is exactly like Gilda too, where that little man, no more bet. Well, so she's done now, right? Oh, she has to go again. Oh, because he knows how to use the dice. Uh, I thought he was going to do 16. He wants the dice that um, do 7 and 11. Oh, so now they won't be the 7 and 11 dice? <laughs> what the? Why are these other people around all of a sudden? Are these his thugs?
Was it nine? And four. So did he just... Okay. So she just won 16,000. Gonna be a problem with those two. The taxi cab owner. Oh, well, yeah, then. Oh, this is. The dude that has the letter and the little petty four sandwiches. Was the letter on the, um, oh, 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 oh. So, um, here is this extra private room that they needed to come into. Okay, yeah, uh, they'll kill that little waiter if they uh, if he doesn't drink this. And he knows it's poisoned or laced. Nothing's gonna happen to her. Geronimo. Okay, all ready. Is she gonna help him? Wow, it happened quickly. Uh, is she going to help him? What's your phone though, dude? Wow. How long has he been out? And, well, somebody put him here in his room. Post. So she got it.
waiter, the waiter, the waiter, is he dead? He had a letter for him. He's dead. Oh. Oh, and they left. Okay, so he's looking for that letter. Is there another empty room? Unlocked. It's the quickest thing I can think of. Oh, and he thinks, he probably is right that they are really quickly on their way. Wow. So this guy has been alive like for three years since this original murder took place. So they got that girl too. She's, yeah, she's controlled by them too. She's terrified of them. So he's got a, is he trying to look like he's in bed? Yeah, he expects them to be there any minute. Oh my gosh, because they are. Wow. They were just going to open the door. Okay. Quick thinking. Oh, that's a man. Um, you have to just answer the door. I don't know why in hell I don't answer the door. Yeah. Okay. That's the dead dude. <laughs> Is your name Cora Chandler? Are they going to turn the light off for him? Yeah, just let him go back to sleep. Back to sleep. So he had to rent this cop radio because I was like... So that dude is just going to chill there for until 8 in the morning. He had to rent this cop radio.
What about lunch? Anyway, right at one o'clock, she's got to be in the lobby. But it was about... Is that when they stop serving lunch or what? Uh, seriously, I mean, the way he is always talking, as long as it's a woman, he's got to talk like that. Oh, they recognize her. That was the cop looking right at her. Alvaretto. Okay, so he needs some reinforcement and he can get it down here because of Alvaretto. He sees the, yeah, okay, cop dude, like you're, like this is your paper. <laughs> Did he see Rusty? Is her name Rust? I feel like he was calling her, or Dusty, or not Cora. It's almost 1.30. He told her to meet him right at 1 o'clock. He's had her sitting there for a while then, right? So is he able to get her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were trying to eat lunch here in the hotel. So no, of course he wasn't trying to be seen with her there at that hotel. I mean, does he expect pretty much, like, he's going to be followed? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh, they're supposed to be going. He said, you're with me until tonight and after. Okay. And so now they are going to go way far away to Flamingo. Oh, what about her? <laughs> Run around.
and then O. Well, she just said she didn't. Oh, all right. But well, I don't talk huh, unless he tells you to. that cute man from sorry wrong number oh yeah yeah Well, okay. Yeah. Her husband. So, how does Martinelli factor into that then? If Johnny actually did kill her husband, the heck does that have to do with Martinelli? And because they didn't dispose of the body or anything. Okay, Dusty. Rusty, Dusty. Again, though, I don't understand how Martinelli factors in. I love this street. I want to live here, right? Isn't this the American dream? Yes. 
He's still talking to the father. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, he's going to have to go with him to this dude's safe, right? That's her name now. <laughs> Mike. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he has a little catalog. Show me. He kind of saw it, huh? It was behind the little push button photo. In a locked office. Yeah. Oh, he don't want to go now. What's the pay? Oh. Okay, well, great. Let's get to work. <laughs> Mike. I remember this and now the cop is going to come. <gasps> when did he do that? Yeah. Oh, and here's the cop right now. And she got this body in the trunk of her car. How beautiful this is too, uh, this road. your license oh, and he already went back to the back of the car
Oh, so he's a romantic at heart, so they can just go get married. Oh, <laughs> dude, I mean, <laughs> keep up. Okay, you two. So he said he's going to be able to go to the club because Martinelli is going to be down at police headquarters. How in the world did he get the body and we totally did not see this right he just was taking a long time to come meet her at the hotel when she was in the lobby but we just saw him in the phone booth so who'd she just call the police to say the body is there at martinelli's in his garage Oh, they're sinking their watches. <laughs> Honey. Oh, it's like that with them now? He always touches a woman's face up. Um, where is he? Is this the club? And he's just coming in, like, way in the backside? It's not that dude's house again, right? No, this is his house. Okay. Okay. Um. He is at this club. Okay, he is at the club because he's trying to get to the safe. This dude has shown him how to break into the safe. But yeah, that f his friend is possibly here, right? What's he got in this package? His little equipment he needs to bust the safe. Is he going to have this stethoscope? Is he putting into those ears and then he's going <laughs> to... That's cool. But we still have music. Anyway. Oh. That's the pretty girl. Okay. Oh. Wow. He didn't even have to crack it. Did he take the letter with him? when he left in a quick, fast hurry. <clears throat> Darn it. Watch out, watch out. Is somebody, like, gonna get the jump on him? Okay. 
did it just fall out? That's it? That's it? Oh, it's that dude. Is it her? Make with the music, start singing with. They want him to uh, sing. A sap. I don't know. If he hadn't just been knocked out, I don't think it'd be a problem for him to handle this. Psychopath. Oh, he just got hit again? It is this dude hitting him with a sap, that's what it is called? He's just gonna hit him. Boy, they be jacking Humphrey Bogart up in these movies. She smelled jasmine before. Was that her? Yeah, he did arrange for that. Huh?
Why is this dude's hair? Oh, jacked up. I know, it's because he was just... Beating up Humphrey. Over. Oh. Tidy up your hair. Oh. So he made all of that up? He's a fast thinker. What in the heck? Whose car did he just jump into? They had somebody else driving them? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. He thinks it was Mike. It's all messed up. Stuff. Okay, just go if go get it if there is some discipline. Is he still there? By him thinking that Mike was there, he smelled her jasmine. What, she's in on this? What you helped them do? So she's living up in the penthouse. <laughs> Couldn't take it waiting for this is Johnny. The dude that got killed. Pills from Destination Tokyo. Blackjack. said he smelled that when he first got there. <sighs> it 
Is she the good girl from Martha Ivers? Or is she the bad girl from Too Late? Frontiers. Oh. Yeah. What happened? It's time to straighten this out. Go ahead and call the police. Yeah, get it, get it worked out. So now he's gonna go take the phone away from her. Oh yeah, that thing on his face is wound. We saw that from the very beginning when he stood next to those people in the window. He was quite offensive looking, right? So they walked away. They have straightened it out, right? So now what? Well, are they together? Okay, is that possible? Is he good? I'm gonna tell her to get in his pocket. Put her in her in his pocket. Let her run around. The 
isn't somebody on the phone hearing this? Does he have a concussion that he probably should not be going to sleep with? Um, what's up with the phone, dude? Yeah, tend to him. Six hours. They have two tickets. safe man what's her problem this is where she lives right on the penthouse floor this is him coming back no that's not him this is Maggie What in the world is going on? Is he really coming? What is in the bag? Oh. 
Yeah, something's not right. She should want to get this gun. What is going on? There's a twist and a turn. Some main on the up and up. Oh, the cops. This is not good. Is she gonna get the curtain cord? Okay. This is no good. She was tripping way too hard about not getting this gun that is the incriminating evidence on her that she killed her husband that this crime boss has. What, in his safe? Where is it? So he's doing this for her. Oh, does he give this full a taste of his own friend? I mean, he is really going all out right now. 
for this gun for her. I mean, he didn't really get the message from the letter from... What was his name? Johnny? Right? They he knocked him out and he said, I didn't see the letter. I didn't get to read it. You knocked me out. Hit him. Right. In Texas? This was hair. Well, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it open. We are going to headquarters. That was Mike that just shot him down? I totally forgot about this. Damn. So, 
that is his wife. Is she letting him in? I mean, he got this gun for her. Well, she ain't married to him no more, right? All right. in the world oh so what <gasps> oh I have to admit Unfortunately, I saw this <laughs> part. Not quite here. I had not seen this movie in years, owning it. And I was just trying to confirm the runtime on Crackle. And I clicked this, you know, towards the end. And I see that he was standing over her. That's and then I was like, what in the world is going on? <sighs> he was talking to this dude. Seems like a long time ago. Why is his sleeve tucked into his <laughs> rope like that? Tied into his... Oh, because he's got a sling. Probably should be. But <laughs> you do.
Okay, I saw this. Wow, Mike was the worst femme fatale. Um, so, because I was saying, is she a good girl like Martha Ivers? Or is she a bad girl like Too Late for Tears? And damn, it was Too Late for Tears. Um, she dies in that movie too, huh? but dang, people. What a twist and turn. I mean, when he was waking up in her penthouse, you could tell something was off, but I mean, she was married to that dude. She was married to him, had never got a divorce. Oh, we, I mean, dang. Okay, so, <laughs> like and subscribe. Um, look, I don't like to box myself in with what comes in and what sequence um but there are two more uh Humphrey Bogart movies available that I'm going to watch because I've never seen them before so look for those they'll be on the channel at some point thank you bye-bye <laughs>